Alright, we're going to learn about how to solve cubic functions. So, let's say we have a question of let's solve, say, x cubed plus 2x squared, oops, minus x minus 2 equals to 0. Now, you're learning quadratic function, quadratic function like this, because the zero is very simple, right? You just simply do a quadratic equation, a quadratic for, uh, cross factorization. You get the answers because it's zero, and you have two answers, x equals to something. Well, but this one is a bit different, all right? So, how are we gonna do it? Well, I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's see. now let's start with the equation, right? The cubic equation is x cubed again, x cubed. Um, plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0. Now in order to solve it, you need a factor. Okay, and to get a factor, you probably need to substitute some values of x. So substitute some values of x. x equals to a number a, such that the whole function, the whole function like this will be equal to 0. And how are we going to do it? Then we have to try and guess and check. So the easiest value that we can use is x equals 1, right? Right. Let's see what happens if we put input x, uh, x equals 1 into the equation. So you have 1 cubed plus 2 1 squared minus 1 minus 2. Let's work this out. 1 plus, this will be 2 minus 1 minus 2. Hey, what do you know? It's 0. Therefore, x equals 1. Right, it's a uh, will cause the function to be zero, which means x minus one is a factor. Right, it's a factor. So if x minus one is a factor, okay, let's uh, try to do a new one. So we establish now x minus one is a factor. All right, we've established the fact that x minus one is a factor. Right, of um, this equation x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 now once we have this we can establish the fact that x minus 1 since it's a factor it must be multiplying right with a quadratic equation here x ax squared plus bx plus c in order to get um, the cubic equation on the right hand side. Now in order so in order to do that now we have to find the unknowns A, B and C. Now A and C can be found easily because when you compare the right hand side and the left hand side you can actually find what's A. So for example in this case right to get A we need to know what must what must you multiply this to to get x cubed. What is the number which x must multiply with so that we get x cubed, of course, so that it definitely must be 1, right? So a is 1, therefore we know that it's x squared. Now bx is a bit tough, so let's just leave it. Right. What about c? What is the function, what is, it, what is the constant c we must multiply negative 1 with, right? Just so that you can get negative 2, right? Negative 1 definitely must multiply by a positive number. And to get negative 2, it must be positive 2. Guessed it? So, there you have, we can have this equation, 2x squared minus x minus 2. Now, in order to get b, all we need to do now um, is to compare coefficients. So let's compare the coefficient of x squared. Now the coefficient of x squared, coefficient of x squared, so the coefficient of x squared, compare x squared, coefficient of x squared on the right hand side right, is 2x squared. And for the right hand side, you have to multiply. So x must mu multiply by b, so you get 2bx squared. Negative 1 must multiply by x squared, so you get negative x squared. Now, once we can compare, we can remove the coefficient, right? So there you have x, sorry, b minus 1 equals to 2, and we know that therefore b is 3. So therefore x minus 1, x squared plus 3x plus 2, to 0, which is the original cubic equation on the right hand side.
So once you've done that, we can actually use quadratic cross factorization to find right the quadratic. We can solve the quadratic equation on the left hand side and we get eventually x minus one. Right, of course this is what I'm trying to do. X minus one, x plus two, and x plus one equals to zero. So therefore x is equals to one, negative two, and negative one. Soft.